The theme of our inspiration is milestones. But it seems as if after my 18 years, I've had a portion of my tune-ups and switched my gears, but only a small amount miles ago. I'm not living to my full potential, so curiosity falls on my mind, and each day it continues to pile on. And whenever I have my days where I feel as if the world is my enemy, I get discouraged because I feel frowned upon. But while anger, hatred, and emotional distress grew inside of me, my face, I still managed to put a smile on. Honestly, I've had plenty of turning points in my life. Oftentimes, iniquity was in my favor, but then I found Christ, and now I openly declare him as my savior. In my time of hardship, I often look to the lyrics of a J. Cole song, it's my amenity. It wasn't until my 30th milestone in my life where I thought that I found my true identity. Well, after reciting my first poem in class while my peers smiled, clapped, and gasped, I can't express what that meant to me. But I walk around and claim Christianity, and suddenly it seems like a conspiracy. The one and only word I use to define this world is crazy. Because when it comes down to spreading the gospel of Christ, we homo sapiens seem to get lazy. And when I begin to feel weak in my religion, the worldly temptations begin to phase me. I start to think that I want to hit that marble red go out to the bonfire and get a little crazy. But I'm still a hypocrite because sometimes I don't practice what I preach. Yeah, I'm standing up here screaming out, but I want more God. But to me, the gospel of Christ someone needs to teach. The kids like me who fall into the trap of peer pressure and get weaker in their faith is who I strive to reach. The wall in front of me that the devil put up is the wall that I'm going to breach and it's going to come tumbling down to my feet. You see, I want a girlfriend that's going to remind me of a George of Peach. Beautiful on the outside and underneath her feeling she is still sweet. I know I haven't found you yet, but one day soon we're going to meet. A milestone in my young life as I'm soon playing to greet. But let me change the subject back to this spoken word poetry which I speak. Before now, I was never brave enough to even think about muttering this sound through my slightly crooked teeth. I would only dream about it so the blood from my curiosity bled through my sheets. But now my heart is permanently torn. So till my pen, my fingers reach. Judges, I'm sorry I'm on a rant, and I promise you I'm not trying to preach. But if I did, I try to teach about what I've learned these 18 years, about love and hate, and about dreams and fears. But I bet you all never knew while I was looking at you reciting my poem, on the inside of me, I'm bleeding tears. <laughs>